Hello guys and welcome to another tutorial by EclipeProduction.com The last two tutorials we did with the bass lines So this time I'm gonna show you something quickly and it's gonna be the flanger lead flanger FM lead gated gated flanger FM lead Of course we're gonna do this with Serum because Serum is definitely my let's say to go VST So let's start with it So let's just open Serum, we're gonna use one oscillator so first I want to do is to make a gated gated sounds like it's now like this we're just going to make this one connect with the volume level of the uh, oscillator A and we're going to put 1 16 let's just leave it like here for now turn on the filter so I want to get something like it's random cut cutoff, and we're probably gonna use the the bandpass filter. Just uh, when you connect LFO one, click triggers. That means every time you play the note, it will start from the beginning. We're gonna use a random LFO for cutoff, and if you're not familiar, if you go to global, it's this chaos. One, two, what I'm gonna prepare, uh, this one is just a, sync, a BPM sync, put on 1 16th, mono, S and H. And now if you go to matrix and if you go to chaos one, choose the chaos one, and the destination will be filter cutoff and the amount, of course. So this this can be the final result if you are looking for something like like psychedelic you can put two two voices pull down a bit of the detune if you want to get like more stereo and if you want to, to control because it's too much stereo here you have it in global put right but we're gonna do FM lead gated with the flanger on it so let's turn the sub oscillator when I do an FM I always use from sub because you can choose the form you can do also from B but the, the sub oscillator I don't use that much so basically I always use it for FM it's the last one here from the drop down menu FM synthesis from the and put the level down of the sub oscillator so we don't hear it okay let's try octave down here exactly what i needed like like 37 percent and i want to add something more to the this uh, gate you can make it a bit shorter, you play around and find the settings that you like. But if we do this, uh, for example, if we play around, press the note and randomly turn on the, the level of the oscillator, you will get this kind of random arpeggio, uh, arpeggio mode, like playing with the, with the sustain of, the, of this gated. So the, for this we're gonna use Chaos 2 because it's you have two Chaos LFOs and then we're gonna choose the oscillator A, A volume but we're not gonna use too much of it and just to go in one direction because you just need to bring it up. And then maybe, yeah, the rate a little bit higher. If we, if we pull down the resonance,
course uh, I wanted to get something like this. If you want more psychedelic, you just need to resonance to pull up and it will create peak that is going to move around and it, it will get the effect like you are changing the notes all the time. <laughs> But this is not the, the tutorial for that kind of sound, but if we... Yeah, this sounds nice. Let's put some effects on it. For example, EQ, we're gonna just lose the... I like to leave a little bit of Q on the low end. You can also put a LFO if you want on this one as well. Like a high pass filter, so it's like band filter in combination with a high pass filter. So that's it. I'm not going to use the flanger from it, I'm going to use the Cubase internal flanger because it has the manual mode and I want to, to make an automatization, you know, to have a control of how, fil how flanger will move. But actually reverb I'm going to use after the flanger, uh, I'm going to put an insert the flanger and then I'm going to use it after the, the flanger to get. It's also a good idea for delay as well, but you can do it inside. I like to do all the processings outside because I have much better control. So let's just type flanger, okay, and then manual mode. And okay, let's just make this. gonna make it as long as the loop is what we're gonna do just press writing and yep that's it and now I'm gonna put an echo boy it's my favorite delay because it has so much different algorithms I'm gonna use the ping pong so we get this uh, left and right. Let's hear how it sounds. to get more movement on it for example volcano is amazing the fob filter what i do here usually is i put a bandpass 12 now it sounds i put a 50 percent of mix and i make an x xlfo connect it with cutoff And then you can put the peak up if you want. And here you can do like also randomize. Random, second random. Uh, sorry, random. This one as well random. I like to make them like five. Some number that is not one, two or four. That way you get a uh, different and here sync you can put That way you get kind of a little bit more of the movement as well But you you can do also without the the the, the volcano Put some kind of reverb. Let's use fab filter reverb for for this this time. Just is a little bit too long and make it yeah, a little bit shorter just to get just to get a little bit of reverb on top of it. And when you put a lot of processing on the on the on the leads or whatever, uh, remember that kick and bass are always in the middle. 
and this can and all the leads should go a little bit further so i just want to control a little bit of the mids not the mids the the middle what's going in mono in this lead so i always put on the end like uh, so compressor fab, fab filter pro c2 is amazing because here if you just go it will compress only what's in mono and that way i want to keep compressed in the leads the mono so they don't interfere that much with the kicking bass and you will get uh, much better results and from a side you don't need to compress because especially in this moment there is not much sounds that go in stereo <laughs> And of course you can do a low cut because for all the leads and everything always cut a little bit on the from many reasons but we're gonna go through that some other time this time yeah we just made this sound design pretty easy pretty nice and always welcome the flanger leads so that was it from this week and when i come back from australia i'm gonna prepare you another another video tutorial and another blog so stay tuned and see you next week